thing. It's crazy. I got my cross piece attached to my mast. I did take it over to the boat and put it in place to measure it and get the angle right. So hopefully it's right. This guy has lots of fiberglass tabs in there now. Uh, it should be enough. I'm gonna make sure it. Oh yeah, that's pretty secure in there now. I'm gonna make sure it cures all the way before I move it, because right now it's all lined up perfectly straight and everything. So I'll mess with this tomorrow. All right. Hopefully those poles will keep that from blowing over overnight. I'm gonna cross my fingers for no serious wind. So this is the mast. It pivots here. Uh, I put three layers of fiberglass up to about here, and then I went with two for the rest to leave it a little bit flexible. Because, you know, in the event that there's wind changes and things are moving around, I want it to be able to flex a little bit and absorb some of that Im impact as opposed to snapping off. Although most of the force will be taken by some cables going from the mast down to the back of the boat. Hope. All right, now that should be strong. I think. I put extra layers of fiberglass all in here, wrapped up and over and down the sides because the sail is going to be on here pushing that way. So these are going to try to pull apart. So that should keep it together. There's like five extra layers on there in addition to what I put yesterday. Everyone's favorite part of fiberglass and oh, cleaning up the edges. Edges. We don't need no stinking edges. All right. Pretty good edges. Good enough. All right. Two main components looking pretty good. Now when this thing is up, I'm going to need something to steer it and something to attach cables to that can hook onto here and swivel because that needs to be able to turn independent of the cables coming off it. Well, I can cut a chunk of this off, put fiberglass around it, put it on there. I'll have to make a... I'm not sure if I can make a slit, open it up and get it on there. Or if I'm going to have to make it to two separate halves to put on. I almost put one on here before I put this all together. <sighs> but I didn't. Okay, if this is the top end, I'm thinking I could put my collar there. It can rest against that flange. And if I put this on here, it can rub on this and not get ground down by the fiberglass too fast. Yeah, PVC on PVC is pretty smooth. It should last a long time. I don't think I'm going to be able to slip a piece of this on that easily. This is a lot thicker walled. I guess let me just cut a piece off and see what I can do. I do have a fire right there. I could melt it a little bit enough that I can open it up and then get it on there. Well, maybe I will do that. But then it's permanently on there. Because then I'm going to put fiberglass on it. I won't be able to get it off. Do I want to be able to get it off? Or do I want to just put it on permanently? Maybe it will be fine. Yeah. Nope. I didn't bring my angle grinder.
expecting that to be that good and I've been thinking about how to do the st sail steering the two leading ideas right now are attach something solidly here it would be have to be uh, hinged here so I could pivot when it's closed but it would just come out and then that would get pushed around or I could attach a, a rope cable whatever there and a rope or cable whatever there and they go back to something that can hold it and they just pull on the ropes to, to straighten it out or crookedize it or whatever. Right now I'm leaning toward the ropes just because it's simpler, it's lighter. Yeah. Hmm. I'll just have to make some way to easily attach them back because I'll be sitting right, right at the back where the ropes would attach. So I'll just have to, I don't know, something. So I might want to reinforce this edge here. Like put a PVC pipe over it and then fiberglass it all in. That would make that real strong. And then I could attach the ropes pretty much anywhere to it then. Uh, putting a pipe on the edge is a pain in the butt. So I just put some extra layers all across there. Well, this morning, I reinforced one of my shovels. And then, well, it wasn't breaking yet or anything, but, you know, I just wanted to be preemptive. And then I was getting all excited about not working with fiberglass. So now I've got all, all this stuff to do the stuff to the sail and stuff. Mast, not sail. So already I've put a aluminum aluminum pipe here. And I did that because probably what's going to be connected here is the ropes to steer. And I don't want that thing pulling off, ripping out this way. So this will hold them apart. So now everything in the back is nicely triangulated. You know, I've got this piece going straight across. And then those going down at angles. And everything's like, yeah. All right. Now, uh, this is something I've been kind of thinking about in the back of my head for a while. I need to make something that will hold the sail in position while it's down and something that will hold it in position when it's up. Yeah. And I think I'm going to combine those two things. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to shut up and do it. All right, Brainworks, what shape does this need to be? Let me think. Okay, that much there. It comes down. It's going to be an angle, funny angle, so, yeah, about like that, right. Oh, come on. Beauty. Any luck that's aimed right at the camera? It should be aimed right. Yeah. Oh, that should be pretty good.
Oh man, those came out nice. Hmm, the next thing involves something from the island. Hey, you guys coming with me? Yeah. Cool, let's go. Loading platform there. All right, let's go up to the island. Or a pedal. Oh, good. We can still get in even when it's super low tide. Sweet. Okay, I need this mast to stay right about like that. Does anybody know? What we could put here to hold it up this high. You could put one of the circle things? I could put the circle piece that I cut off here, like an idiot. <laughs> and rivet it right back in. Hopefully I can just sink it down a little bit lower. Or, well maybe we can get a couple different things and see which one is the right size. Because there's three of those circles. Can you make it? Careful, now jump, wait, wait, don't go down there, you get muddy. Bells, bells, here. Probably should have hey, hey. Yeah. You can jump. Hey, check out the citronella grass is growing. Alright, let's go get some stuff. Yeah, this is the sail. That's the mold for it, yeah. And the solar panels are going to go on the other side of it. You know, it's upside. Are you going to put the stick on the boat through there? Put the what? The stick on the boat through there? Oh, the mast, yeah. It goes right through there. All right, we need some circles. Where do we have circles? Right here. Well, that one looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, grab that. Grab the one in your hand. This is the one that came off the back, I'm pretty sure. That does not look that conducive to what we need to do. And this kind of has the sticky-outy things. We might be able to use those to tie stuff on there. That'll be useful. Yeah, let's take that one. You know what? We can't attach that until I get the sail in place because we have to adjust it to the right height when the sail is on. Huh. Well, let's go look how it fits. Okay. Right. Can you put that right in place? Yeah, I think that'll be really good. Obviously, we have to... Well, this won't matter because we're going to cut this and then rivet it in to the sides. And we'll be able to adjust it up and down a little bit. And then we'll have some little ears to... I don't know, what are we going to do with the ears? <laughs> Maybe those can have something to do with the ropes that come from the steering. Oh. Think about that. And then we can rivet this on top of here. And since the mast is the right size to fit in this, it should like kind of click right in. And it'll hold itself. <laughs> click, you know, like when something fits like snugly. It'll hold it. Although, the thing that the strings go up to, uh, that keeps the mast from falling over, like the stays go up to, um, that I think might end up right there. So we'll just have to see how it goes. 